flats are feeding zones for bass. On a map, it might all look the same, but underwater, search for grass, sand, rocks, and boulders. Crankbaits are fantastic for covering water and catching bass. Focus on the diving lip to determine what bait is best for your fishing areas. Baits usually range from 5 to 9 feet, 10 to 15, and then there's the ultra deep divers. A 7 to almost 8 foot rod is ideal for making super long casts. Load up the reel with fluorocarbon and you'll be set. Make as long of a cast as you can and try a good stop and go retrieve, it always works. One of the most important things to do with that crankbait is hit the bottom. Try to deflect that lip off of any cover, especially rocks or wood. It really generates strikes. Weeds are key cover on grass flats. Sometimes they grow so thick you look like you can walk across them. Keep your eyes out for strands of grass like these ones sticking up out of the water. They'll reveal larger sections below. Often it's the small grass beds that are tucked away that have the most bass. There I got one. Oh. As soon as I put it in there, it's huge. Oh. Pitching a jig is an effective and systematic approach for working a grass flat. Plus it catches bass regardless of their mood. Heavy action casting gear and spools loaded with braided line are best. Select a jig that will punch through the weeds and reach the bottom. Jig weights will vary depending on the thickness of the grass and the depth of water. A half ounce bait is a good starting point, but don't be shy to go much heavier. Oh, come on buddy. There we go. See it right in the heavy grass. Oh. See, sucked it right in. Look at that. 